Hi, welcome to VTech Academy. And in this presentation, we are going to discuss about how to multiply four-digit number in a more simple and a more faster way. So we had earlier shown you the multiplication of two-digit and three-digit numbers in a simple format. And now, with the help of same concept, let's try to multiply four-digit numbers. So let's proceed with a simple example. Let's multiply the number say that is 1624 with 2352 okay, 2352 so as shown earlier with the two and three digit multiplication let's draw the patterns in the form of dots which represents the digits of numbers that we are going to multiply in this case we will draw seven sets of patterns which represents the seven steps of calculation so let's start with the first step you need to multiply the units digit with the unit digit of other numbers so in this case 4 into 2 is 8 so take the result 8 in the answer so in the second step the unit digits is to be multiplied with the tens digit of the other number and vice versa so here 5 into 4 is 20 and 2 into 2 is 4 so 20 plus 4 gives the result as 24 so here units digit 4 is to be taken in the final result and 2 is to be carried to the next step so now in third step we need to multiply diagonally that is units to digit of one number is to be multiplied with the hundred digit of the other number and the tens digit is to be multiplied with the tens digit of the other number so here in this case 3 into 4 that is 12 6 into 2 that is 12 again and 5 into 2 that is 10 so 12 plus 12 plus 10 we get 34 plus the 2 that is earlier carried forward that is 34 plus 2 we get the result as 36 so now 6 is to be taken to the final result and 3 is to be carried to the next step so in the next step the multiplication becomes more complex here you need to multiply diagonally so first let's multiply with 4 into 2 that is 8 then 2 into 1 that is 2 6 into 5 that is 30 3 into 2 is 6 so 8 plus 2 plus 6 plus 30 we get the result as 46 plus the earlier carry that is carry forward that is 3 so 46 plus 3 is 49 now 9 is to be taken to the final result and 4 is to be carried carried to the next step so the next step we come in the reverse order that is we multiply in the same pattern that is shown in the figure so let's multiply 5 into 1 is 5 and then 2 into 2 is 4 and 6 into 3 is 18 so 5 plus 4 plus 18 we get 27 so 27 plus 4 that is earlier carried now we get the result as 31 so 1 is to be taken to the final result and 3 is to be carried to the next step now next step it was 6 into 2 plus 3 into 1 that is 12 plus 3 we get the result as 15 plus 3 that is earlier carried so 15 plus 3 is 18 now in 18 8 is to be taken to the final result and 1 is to be carried to the next step and in the final step we need to multiply the thousand digits with the thousand digit of the other number so that is we get 2 into 1 that is 2 plus 1 that is earlier carried forward so 2 plus 1 is 3 now 3 is to be taken to the final result which gives us the final answer of 1624 multiplied by 2352 so now let's proceed with the next example so let us multiply the number say 3247 with 5331 okay so now let's begin with the first step that is 1 into 7 is 7 now the so second step is 4 into 1 plus 7 into 3 that is 4 plus 21 we get the result as 25 now 5 is to be taken into the result and 2 is to be carried forward to the next step and now multiply 7 into 3 is 21 plus 2 into 1 that is 2 so 21 plus 2 we get 23 23 plus 12 that is 35 so 35 plus earlier carry forward that is 2 35 plus 2 we get the result as 37 now 17 is to be taken into the final answer and 3 is to be carried to the next step so in the fourth step we need to multiply 7 into 5 that is 35 35 plus 3 into 1 that is 3 38 38 plus 4 into 3 12 that is we get 50 50 plus 3 into 2 is 6 so 50 plus 6 we get 56 so 56 plus 3 that was earlier carried forward 
now 56 plus 3 is 59 now 59 9 is to be taken for final result and 5 is to be carried to the next step so in the fifth step we need to multiply 3 into 3 that is 9 plus 5 into 4 20 20 plus 9 is 29 29 plus 3 2 is 6 29 plus 6 we get the result as 35 35 plus earlier carried that is 5 35 plus 5 is 40 so in 40 0 is to be taken to the final result and 4 is to be carried to the next step so in the next step we need to multiply 3 into 3 that is 9 plus 5 into 2 10 9 plus 10 is 19 19 plus earlier carried that is 4 19 plus 4 is 23 so 3 is to be taken to the final result and 2 is to carry to the final step in the final step 3 into 5 that is 15 plus 2 earlier carry forward that is 17 so the 17 is to be taken to the final result now the final result for 3 to 4 7 multiplied with 5 3 3 1 is 1 7 3 0 9 7 5 7 so let us take one more example and try to solve let's multiply 5 4 6 2 with 7 3 1 7 so let's begin with the first step that is 7 multiplied by 2 that is 14 so unit digit 4 is to be taken to the final answer and 1 is to be carried so now in the second step 7 6 is 42 plus 2 1 is 2 so 42 plus 2 is 44 plus 1 carried forward earlier is we get the result as 45 so 5 is to be taken to the final answer and 4 is to be carried forward so in the third step 7 multiplied by 4 we get 28 28 plus 3 2 is 6 28 plus 6 is 34 34 plus 6 1 is 6 34 plus 6 is 40 so 40 plus 4 we get the result as 44 so 44 in the 4 is to be written in the final answer and 4 is to be carried forward so now in the next step we need to multiply 7 into 5 that is 35 35 plus 7 2 is 14 now 35 plus 14 we get 49 now 4 1 is 4 49 plus 4 is 53 53 plus 6 3 is 18 53 plus 18 we get 71 71 with the earlier carry forward we get 71 plus 4 that is the result as 75 now 5 is to be taken to the final answer and 7 is to be carried forward now in the next step we need to multiply 5 into 1 that is 5 plus 7 into 6 that is 42 42 plus 5 we get 47 plus 4 into 3 that is 12 so what 7 plus 12 is 59 59 plus earlier carry forward that was 7 so 59 plus 7 is 66 now 6 is to be written in the final answer and 6 is to be carried to the next step so in the next step 5 into 3 but 5 into 3 we get 15 15 plus 7 4 is 28 so 15 plus 28 we get 43 so 43 plus 6 that was earlier carried forward we get the result as 49 now 9 is to be written in the final answer and 4 is to be carried to the next step so in the final step 7 into 5 that is 35 35 plus 4 we get the answer as 39 39 is to be written in the final answer so the result for 5 4 6 2 multiplied by 7 3 one seven is three nine nine six five four five four. So this was a tutorial on how to multiply a four digit number in an easy and a quicker way without using a calculator. It would be pretty hard initially, but as you can see in these examples, after trying it out for two to three times, you would actually remember the whole concept in your mind and this video can be actually helpful to you. Hope you like the presentation and do subscribe to vteachacademy.com for more videos on Max. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.